Folks, so here we go. Yes, those are the wheels I have chosen for the laser. It's the Vosen 14 inch. I, I did really think of going up to 15s, but you know what? I think I'm gonna just go one inch up. Originally, they were 13s. I'll show you the original wheels at the side there in a little while. Gone an inch up with brand new Falcon tires. Yes, there is still a promotion going on for Falcons. These are actually 1856014s on these beautiful Vosen wheels, which I think the silver complements the silver. And I've got a lot of black rim cars already, so you know what? I think I'm gonna go silver. So there she is, and now she's going to get the necessary blood transfusion. As you know, this is one of the SOPs of uh, any car that I get. Yes, I know I'm going to get a new. This, this has to be changed. It's uh, very, very old, and it's already broken in a few places. But a visit to Aheng at Prokas is definitely in the cards. So here we go with the uh, oil change. Thank you, Momo Racing, for the... Uh, Semi Sin, yeah, it's an old car, so I, re I reckon Semi Sin will be good enough. Really, really like the way these wheels look. Very, very nice. So, of course, balancing alignment all taken care of. Right here at Kenzone. The car is looking very nice. This body, I have to tell you something. Oh, yeah, these are the old Rimbasi, which Aki actually sprayed for me. Very nice. So if anybody wants uh, original 13 inch with Goodyear tires, 175-70-13 tires, come on over to Kenzone. These are for sale. Of course, I traded them in for these. Yes, the trading program is still going on. This body was very hard to do because if you notice, there is a very slight shoulder line on the car. Right about here, there is a shoulder line that goes from the front all the way to the back. And so getting that to be perfect was very very difficult but there's the oil the old oil that's coming out from the car now yeah pretty bad pretty old let's see what she tastes like doesn't smell too bad and it tastes like engine oil so no burning smell the oil doesn't smell burnt which is a very good sign thank you bro So a full fluid transfusion going in. Nice brand new tires. Love these. Where's the uh, wear indicator? Uh, there should be a wear indicator somewhere. Let's see. Where's the wear indicator? Sometimes, sometimes the wear indicators are, are hidden. I saw a nice one the other day with numerics. And it said when it goes down to one, time to change. So it's like four, three, two, one. Very cool. Anyway, so yeah, Falcon Sincera SN832 on brand new Vosens, brand new tires for brand new wheels. Very nice. Hey folks, while we're waiting for the oil to drain out from the laser, here's the Nissan Terrano in all her majesty. Beautiful car, just needs one outside coat of paint. Uh, a little bit of uh, touch-up at Procast for the uh, tinting. This car is now going through a top end. Oh, hey, Meng. Apa kabar? Bikin apa? Oh, head gasket. Tukar head gasket saja. Okay, it's getting a head gasket change. And uh, folks, I just want to inform you that uh, while many of you might have assumed that I bought this car, no, I haven't. I actually just went and picked up the uh, shock absorbers for William when uh, they were when I found out they were available at uh, AME Auto Parts Supply. Since I was going there anyway, I just picked it up for him, bought it for him first. He's already taken them, and I think they've already fitted. Shock absorber sudah letak ah. Shock absorber baru sudah letak. Sudah ah. Okay, so the new shock, shock absorbers are in already. This car is in buy and drive condition. I didn't buy it, so if anybody is interested, drop me an email at chris at evomalaysia.com and I'll broker the deal for William. Yeah, you go. You're not going to find a nicer Tarano anywhere else. I guarantee you that in this kind of condition. Lovely, lovely car. And they found out it's already had a top overhaul. So, they're making top overhaul dulu. Eh? 
Ken told me. Yeah. So yeah, it, it's uh, sorry, it's had a top overhaul in in the past. So you're getting a really really nicely mechanically sorted Nissan Torano 2.4. Just needs one nice outside coat of paint, and you're good to go. Lovely. Uh, in case you're wondering, yes, this is the oil before it goes in. It's a uh, Momo Racing se semi synthetic 10W40. This is, uh, I've always propagated uh, semi-sin for older cars. Actually, mineral oil would be good as well. Uh, Caltex uh, Magnatec, that's, that's sorry, Castrol Magnatec, not Caltex. Castrol Magnatec, that's, that's a very good old engine oil. Shell makes a very good oil for uh, high mileage cars. It's called Shell High Mileage, I think, for cars over 100,000 kilometers. Uh, semi-sin is more than good enough for this old lady, for this old gal, yeah. In fact, sometimes semi-sin might be actually uh, even too thin, but definitely don't go fully sin for, for old cars, yeah? You just need a semi-sin. So, almost ready to go. Thank you, Momo Racing. So, here we go again with the nuts. Yeah, the, new, the wheel nuts are new because my nuts were really old. You see, it just, I cannot, I don't know how to say it, you know, without sounding weird. But yeah, the nuts, uh, my car's nuts, no, that's even wrong. The, the lug nuts on my car were very old, so I got new ones. So now my nuts are new. No, the nuts on my car, uh, never mind, forget it, forget it. Okay, so another thing that was done before the uh, new wheels and tires went on, new brake uh, shoes in the drum at the back, yes, it's a drum brake, so I've got new brake pads in the drum, and uh, brake pump as well for the rear. The brake pump was leaking, so I changed the uh, the brake pump as well. So I got new brake shoes in here, and a new brake pump. So yeah, safety first, folks. No point going fast if you cannot stop, yeah? So yeah, safety first. Danko Aluminum, made in Malaysia, yeah. Beli Barangan Buatan Malaysia, support your local products. But I think I'm gonna explode it. Five hundred bucks. It's about thousand plus. To work out cheaper for me. Four thousand. Two one five. Even more. It's for two hundred bucks. Four hundred bucks of savings. So the engine oil is out, and now it's time for the gear oil. I have no idea when was the last time this was changed. So let's have a look. Oh, it's okay. Not too bad. It's uh, quite golden. Hmm. Was it okay? Ah? Yeah, smells and tastes like gear oil as well. Good. Okay. So, yeah, better safe than sorry. If you're not sure when the last time a gearbox had its oil changed when you buy a used car, just get it done. It's not that expensive. It's like 40 ringgit, I think, for brand new gear oil. Better safe than sorry. And that's the same reason why I got them to change the timing belt. Yes, this car has a brand new timing belt because the previous owner couldn't really remember when he changed the timing belt. He said he still, he thinks there's still about 40,000 kilometers to go before a new timing belt is needed, but he wasn't sure. And it's that kind of unsurety that can cause trouble. So just change it. It's, it's 100 plus, I think, if I'm not mistaken. No more than 200 ringgit. Just change it. Because if the timing belt snaps, you know how much your bill is gonna be? Four figures, easily. So yeah, just change it. Better safe than sorry. Prevent, this is all part of preventive maintenance, yeah? I'm not trying to preach, it's just what it is. I learn as I go along, so hopefully you can learn a little bit of something from what I've learned. I've also had timing belts snap on me. It is not fun, so yeah. Learn, learn vicariously through my mistakes and my experiences. That's it, that's, that's basically it. And there you go, that's the timing belt component kit. And you can see it comes as a one full set like this. And uh, just get it done, just get it done. There's, there's no reason not to. I think this is the old timing belt. Let's have a look. One way you can tell is turning it inside out and, and then stretching it to see if there's any cracks. No, actually it looks okay. So yeah, maybe another 40,000 could have been fine on this, on this timing belt. But better safe than sorry, yeah? Because if you don't know, just change it. These were the old uh, drum shoes, as you can see. Yeah, thinner than my bank account. And what was this? No idea. 
something. Oh, maybe part of the kit, the, the roller, the bearings or something. So yeah, these are all the old things. Yeah, they did, they changed it. There we go. So these are the, all the old things that were, that were changed. And uh, yeah, so there you go, that's it. Brake pads, lovely. So here we go, Momo Racing. Oh, I love the wheels. The wheels are starting to look so good to me. Momo Racing, 10W40. Semi sin. Liquid gold, folks. Going into the car, which is well deserved. So this car was 2,000 kilometers over its service due date. Uh, that's way too long. Always adhere to your maintenance schedule, yeah, folks? Don't forget, this, this is the lifeblood of your car right here. If this is not in good shape, same like your, your body, if your blood is not in good shape, you're in big trouble. And that's the same for the car. That's why I call it a blood transfusion. So in addition to the engine oil and the gearbox oil, we are doing a full fluid transfusion for this car. Power steering, clutch, brake. Now because they changed the brake master pump at the back, of course they have to bleed the brakes. So brake fluid, clutch fluid, power steering fluid, all gonna be changed. Very nice. So this, this is a full fluid transfusion. Oh, and the radiator as well. Yes, we're gonna wash the radiator because we don't know when it was the last time the radiator was washed. Shall we check it out? This is going to be quite scary. But yeah, the engine's cold. Never open this when it's hot. I mean, that's just basic common sense. Wait. That's... That's the cleanest radiator water I have seen in any used car I've ever bought. Wow. I think the only fluid we're not gonna change is the wiper washer fluid. Everything else is gonna be changed. Right, so all the fluids out from the containers, they're gonna bleed it and then put in the new fluids. One update though, the uh, engine mounts, which you can see are technically forked. Uh, the ones that I bought from uh, AME, Unfortunately, they were the wrong ones. They were for the, for the TX3. And in my excitement, I didn't even bother to check the uh, check the uh, packaging. It's actually for the TX3 1.8. So different engine mounts for the 1.6 carburetor laser. Uh, return them and gonna get the ones for the laser very, very soon. Yeah, different types of engine mounts, but also four pieces. You can see that one's really, really bad. And I could actually feel the engine moving when I was accelerating from a, from a standing start. Yeah, not fun, not fun at all. So that's it for today folks, new fluid, new fluid, no need new fluid, new fluid, new fluid, blood transfusion done. So yeah, this is normally what I would do at the start of getting a, uh, a new weevil. But in this case, yes, like I said, I broke my SOP because Ake could take in the car because somebody pulled out and I figured better do it now before, you know, things can happen where we're not allowed to go anymore.
And yeah, to my viewer from Australia, thank you for uh, commenting. Yes, here you go. Paul, this is the stamp. I'm gonna try to get a nice angle for you. This is the stamp of uh, Amium Ford. Oops, what did I break? Come on. This is the stamp for Amium Ford. Yes, they assemble these cars here locally. Thank you for commenting. And to the rest who have commented on this car about whether it's gonna be for sale or not, like, I, like I've always told you, uh, it depends, yeah? Uh, it's very important to me to find the right owner for, this, for cars like this because I need the car, I need to know that the car is gonna be well taken care of and loved as much as I love them. Maybe even 80% of how much I love them. Yeah, if you can do that, then yeah, we can talk.